Today, Pope Francis travels to Uganda, where he will honor the memory of 23 Anglican martyrs and 22 Catholic martyrs by visiting their respective shrines. Hello, I'm Father James Kavicki, and it's been said that the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. That is certainly true in the case of Uganda, which at the beginning of the 20th century, just 15 years after the martyr's death, had only 10,000 Catholics, but where today, more than 45% of a population of almost 35 million people are Catholics. The theme for Pope Francis' visit to Uganda comes from Acts chapter 1, verse 8, where before ascending into heaven, Jesus tells his disciples, you will be my witnesses. Shortly after the Pope's visit to their country was announced, the Ugandan bishops wrote a message to their people. They said, Uganda is a blessed land. Pope Francis will be the third supreme pontiff to visit us. No other country in Africa has had such a privilege. The Holy Father is coming to celebrate with us the 50th anniversary of the canonization of the Uganda martyrs, whose blood has been the seed of Christianity in our country. They laid down their lives as an example that remains to encourage all of us on our spiritual journey. The Pope's visit and presence during the celebrations requires us to prepare in a special way. The nature of this visit is primarily pastoral and spiritual. Coming to us, Pope Francis is carrying out the mission entrusted to Peter by Jesus. But I have prayed that your faith may not fail, and once you have turned back, you must strengthen your brothers. Luke chapter 22, verse 32. Let's continue to pray for Pope Francis, in particular for his safety, and as our Ugandan brothers and sisters prepare to receive him, so may we receive his message as well.